So, um, how many people in here are on antidepressant medication? <laughs> no, it's just me, okay. All right, weird. Single-handedly keeping the pharmaceutical industry afloat. About a year ago, I was uh, the beneficiary of a horrible breakup. And I say beneficiary because I think ultimately it was not meant to be. It's one of those things where it's like, thank God for unanswered prayers. Um, but, but it was rough. And uh, this is not a breakup song. I'm, not, I'm just telling you there was a breakup. And it connects to the song, but it's not a breakup song. Stay with me. Um, <laughs> so, so um, no, I was in this great relationship. It was marvelous. It was, uh, I was, it was fulfilling. It was rewarding. There was no exploitation, abuse, or neglect. The triple crown. And uh, no, it was great. And and um, one day, I um, I was told by this person that I needed to call him. And uh, I was like, okay, cool, I'll call you. And and I, I guess th what had happened was that's a long story. Um, this person had made plans to move across the country and had not told me and had already moved. And so have you ever, um, some of you guys probably are pet owners and you've probably had to put down a dog or a cat at some point and, and, and it was, I felt like the dog that jumps in the car for that last time, like, where are we going? <laughs> like, hey, how are you? I haven't heard from you in a week. Good, how are you? I'm doing great. What did you want to talk about? And then they just got really quiet. And she said, I can't do this anymore. And I was really, really broken about it. And so we talked for like 30 minutes. And I was in denial and anger. And then I accepted it. And it was all that. I hung up the phone. It's like 11 o'clock at night, which is way past my bedtime. And uh, I, was, I was crying. And I called my brother, because he's my best friend. And uh, he didn't pick up. So, <laughs> so I called another friend of mine who I knew would be up uh, watching TV. Um, he was a songwriter in Greensboro named Bruce Piaf, a really, really cool guy. And I called him and I said, Bruce, because he knew my girlfriend, and said, um, Allison is not, she's, she like essentially left me and moved to Seattle. And he, I heard him sigh. He went, ugh. Oh. Daniel, you are such a great guy, but Seattle's a hell of a city. <laughs> so about a month later, I found myself in a doctor's office. Because with friends like that, you need Lexapro. <laughs> and I talked to the doctor and learned that uh, I'm moderately depressed. So I thought, I need to write a song in support of the people at Pfizer. <laughs> or whoever manufactures Lexapro. So if you're on an antidepressant or know somebody who is, this song is for you. It's called Sad Songs and Happy Pills. <laughs> Well, when I was young, I used to pray to God for girls and Saturday. But now when I turn out the lights, I ask my Savior every night for sad songs, happy pills. Lord, keep my prescription filled with sad songs, happy pills. Well, I grew up, you did too. We got old and gained a few. My, my, how we change the things we put into our brain Like sad songs, happy pills Lord, keep my prescription filled Drive me crazy down the block Then just let me out to walk But when we met you must have known That I go crazy on my own With sad songs, happy pills Lord, keep that prescription filled. Jesus loves me, this I know. The good Lord gave us Lexapro to fill me up when I am low and turn me on when I am slow with 
Sad songs, happy pills, Lord, keep my prescription filled. Well, something everyone must know, we all got a time to go. Some die hot and some die cold and some die young and some die old. And I don't know which one I'll be Or when the angels come for me But if I die before I wake Let me die with a tummy ache Of sad songs, happy pills Lord, keep my prescription filled with Sad songs, happy pills 